This video demonstrates an end to side anastomosis using Castro Viejo needle drivers and a 6O proline suture. First, we want to prepare our grafts for our end to side anastomosis. In this case, we've cut our graft at an angle, and now the graft automate on the other piece at a roughly similar length. Initially, we'll start most end side anastomoses with stay sutures on the piece of the vessel where the graft's going to be sewn down onto. This is done with a small, simple suture on each side and using mosquitoes or hemostats to hold that suture apart so it can hold the blood vessel open. We'll start at the heel of the donor vessel and go one suture off of the heel, trying to keep the needle tip outside of the blood vessel so it's easier to grasp. We're careful to avoid locking our suture, reaching around the suture line so that we don't get ourselves tangled, and again trying to keep our needle tip outside of the blood vessel so it's easier to grasp. After placing the first three sutures to get us around the corner of the heel, then we'll bring the blood vessels down together and secure them with following. Note that when using an assistant, they can hold opposite the heel to provide good exposure, such that you can maneuver at the front end of the graft or the blood vessel as you suture them together. It's important to come at right angles to the vessel as you're suturing it and try and suture evenly with spacing. Try and really focus on having all the action happen in the field of the anastomosis, meaning that we're loading the needle and going back and forth right there in the field rather than passing the suture off the field and loading somewhere else that's outside the view of the field of the anastomosis, in this case, the field of the viewer here, so we can see it. As we come around to the opposite corner, it's important to distract the two ends of the graphs so that we can see where we're suturing very carefully and to carefully adjust the needle as we do that as we go back and forth. At times, going backwards and forwards between forehand and backhand will make this easier to suture properly with the best bites as seen there. Again, you don't have to grasp the edge of the vessel each time to see the vessel and have proper orientation and proper retraction. But in fact, if you'll just distract the two vessels apart, you can many times get the suture to go where you want using the sharpness of the needle to penetrate through. Again, focus on keeping the action of the anastomosis right there in the field, such that you're avoiding wasted motions. Loading the needle elsewhere and having lots of extra maneuvers is simply not good efficiency of motion and time and will make the anastomosis go much slower. We'll generate suture towards the stay sutures, and once we get to that area, then it's time to switch and go to the other suture that way the stay sutures help hold the anastomosis open so we can see that properly. We've now shifted to the opposite one. We're going to go back in at the heel so that we can suture inside out on the recipient vessel at the bottom. Lastly, we'll secure our suture line by tying off the suture. We'll start this off with a slip knot and then do at least five throws with the proline suture and alternating pattern. Practice outside the operating room to maximize your experience in the OR. You want to practice needle handling, needle positioning, and keeping the action of loading and unloading the needle in the surgical field. Thank you for watching this video.